What's up YouTube, Jeff back again from DopeTechDaily.com and today I'm bringing you guys a very requested video on the channel and that is, where do I get my wallpapers from? So one of the biggest comments I get very often is, which wallpaper are you rocking? What app is that from? Can I get a link? Also about the icon packs, but I've done a bunch of icon pack videos. So today I wanna to bring you guys my top six uh, wallpaper apps for Android. Now, these are in no particular order except for the top one. You guys already know what my favorite is and uh, we'll get down to that when we get to number one. But I'm basically gonna show you guys three very popular apps, which are Wall Rocks, Zedge, and Backgrounds HD, and then three lesser downloaded apps, which are still popular, but they don't have as many downloads, Backdrops, Facets, and Retrome. So first, let's go ahead and get into Zedge, which is probably one of, if not the most popular. I think it's between this and Background HD. They've got a ton of different wallpapers, and basically a topical wallpapers like Finding Nemo, uh, Finding Dory, Pokemon Go. You can get a Team Valor wallpaper if you're Team Valor in Pokemon Go, Team Mystic, etc. It does have ads, so that's a little annoying, but there's also a lot of other stuff going on here. You can search by category. Um, they've got a lot of different categories. One thing I don't like is they don't have a minimal category, which is probably my favorite type of wallpaper, probably a lot of you as well. Um, if you look over here though, they've also got a lot of other stuff in the app live wallpapers, which I don't really use that often because it eats extra battery life that I don't really want to waste on that, ringtones, notifications, games, and they also have some icon packs, which is in beta. I don't find too many great icon packs here. Normally, I like to pay for my icon packs. One, I like to support developers, and two, I also just like the high quality art that you get in a paid pack. But this is overall a great app, Zedge. It's one of the most popular. You can get a lot of great wallpapers and there's a nice variety. It's got a nice looking overall UI and it's very easy to use. Uh, the next one, which is very similar, is Background to HD. It's also got a nice little pop-out menu here. You can sync your previous wallpapers with your Google account. You can see here in the categories, they also have a ton of different categories, including brands, city, games, music, nature, you know, pretty much everything, texture. They also lack a minimal column, but they also have a patterns one. So that one's kind of similar if you're looking for a minimalist wallpaper, but it doesn't really give you anything that has a material design look to it, which is one of the things that I don't like about this wallpaper app. It's definitely one of the most popular. You definitely have a lot of categories you can navigate at the top. Uh, and it is again, free ad supported app. So if you're looking for something that's not gonna cost you money and you wanna access to a really large number of wallpapers, they have 709 wallpapers that are just monochrome. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the next one, which is also very popular, is Wall Rocks. And this is probably my favorite of the set of uh, free uh, large wallpaper apps that get downloaded by a lot of people. Uh, they've got a whole bunch here. They also have my favorite categories, which are material and minimal right here. They've got some of my favorite patterns overall. So if you're looking for a free wallpaper app and you're like me and you like material design uh, and you like a minimalist sort of wallpapers, they've got all those wallpapers here. Uh, and these are ones that I like to rock quite a bit if I'm browsing through Wall Rocks. Now, Wall Rocks does have a pro version of their app that's actually in beta right now. I think if you go over here, you can actually go buy Wall Rocks Pro. It's right there, as you guys can see. I haven't bought it yet, but I'm thinking I might to check out what else is in there. You actually have to go to their Google Plus page, sign up to be a beta tester, and then you can get Wall Rocks Pro. Once again, you can see you have ads in the free version, but this is the one that I would recommend for my style anyway. Uh, it doesn't have the largest selection as Zedge and Backgrounds HD, but definitely a good option if you're looking for material and minimal wallpapers. Uh, so now onto the three that are not quite as well known. Probably the most well known of those three is Facets uh, by Justin Mahler. Now you guys see these all over. Uh, I believe Slick Wraps, they do uh, wraps that have the Justin Mahler artwork on them. They're also getting some cases coming up. I absolutely love these wallpapers, especially the Helmetica series, which has got a bunch of superheroes. You guys have seen me rock the ones from Daredevil, etc. cetera. Uh, I rock some of the Star Wars ones around the time the Star Wars movie came out. So a lot of people love these. Um, the one that I, I had this one on my Note 5, Wolverine. Just a great set of wallpapers, especially if you're into the whole superhero thing. These are really beautiful in the Helmetica series. Now you do need to pay to access the premium wallpapers in here, um, but there are a certain number of them that are free. And you can see here in this, this series here, there's actually a Jordan 4. I love that wallpaper as well. I rocked that on my White Note 5 for quite a while. And the master of all tech videos, you've even got an MKBHD wallpaper right there if you wanna rock that on your phone. So just beautiful artwork in this series. Of course, you don't get as many wallpapers uh, and you do have to pay for the 
um, for the more popular ones, but this is definitely something to consider uh, if you're into the artsy side of the wallpaper scene. Uh, the next two are Retrome, which is a lesser known one. I just did an icon pack that is by this developer, so I wanted to go ahead and show his wallpaper as well. If you guys remember, I did the Magmum icon pack, that icon pack right there, which I'm terrible at pronouncing, M-A-G-M-E. He is the same developer that develops Retrome, and he's got a lot of ton of great wallpapers here. Uh, one of those was the BB-8 wallpaper that I rocked before, but all of these sort of have a simple minimalist look to them. Uh, just really beautiful wallpapers, really more my style. You can get them in various colors to match, you know, whatever you want, match your case, match your clothes, etc. Uh, whatever you want to do. But he's got a great collection. There's the R2-D2 wallpaper. This is one of my favorites of his. Uh, and then you guys also saw the BB-8 one, which I think is down here as well. So I highly recommend his collection. This is a paid app, but again, it has those two categories that I really like, material and minimalist right here. So if you're into the material and minimalist theme, you can go in and get a wide selection. So it is paid, but I highly recommend this one. Uh, this developer up and coming, he's very, very talented. I like a lot of his work right there, which again, I know I'm gonna mispronounce his name. David, shout out to him for getting in touch with me about the Magma Icon Pack. I really, really enjoyed it. And of course, you guys know, my favorite wallpaper app is Backdrops. If you guys see me rocking a phone on any given day, a review, an unboxing, this is probably where I got the wallpaper from. You guys can see the wallpaper that I'm rocking on the G4 Plus today is actually this wallpaper right here, Valley Views from Backdrops. This Backdrops app has a beautiful UI. It's completely material design. You got save, favorite, set. You can long press on the set to set your lock screen or your home screen or both. Just a great app with a lot of features. Uh, they don't have the most wallpapers, but they're updating every day. You can see they've got this wall of the day. I just saw this one, Golden Bay, right there. So for all of you San Francisco uh, people out there, you might want to check out this wallpaper. And I just love the look of the app. And pretty much every wallpaper they put out is something that's my style. So the Backdrops app just fits really well for me. Uh, there is a paid option in here. So if you go into collections, you can see down here, the Pro Pack you have to pay for, I think it's 99 cents or $1.99. Uh, one thing I will say about the Pro Pack is they could be more regular in updating the Pro Pack. I'd like to see that. The most recent one though is this codename game. Those are Android uh, code names. You've got Donut, Marshmallow, etc., all in there. So this is a really cool wallpaper, but they don't update the Pro Pack as often as I'd like. Uh, that's really my only criticism of the Backdrops app. Otherwise, they've got a great collection. Um, they've got categories there. If you're big on Android wallpapers, they've got a selection called Be Together. They've also got a flag section. Uh, just a lot of stuff that's my style. And again, I really love the Android wallpaper right there. If you're a Nexus fan, you're gonna love these wallpapers. So anyway, that's my favorite wallpaper app. I will link all these apps below in the description. I really hope you guys enjoyed overall taking a look at these wallpaper apps. Hope it gives you guys some ideas where you can go to customize your phone. Please follow me over at dopetechdaily.com, Google+, Instagram, Twitter at the links in the description. Like and subscribe if you enjoy the content so I can make future videos like this. I really appreciate you guys checking out this video, and I'll see you in the next one.